Hello all Supernatural fans. Uh, this is going to be a very small quick little video because I'm still working on this project. But what I'm going to show here is the original package tray inside the Impala. Now when you do your cars, the, for those of you guys or girls out there doing your cars, you have to have an original package tray uh, in your Impala. Okay? And the package tray for those of you that don't know is the cardboard uh, cutout that sits on top the metal back here and the original their speakers like holes back here now you can put your speakers in the original holes if you want if you're building a hero car and I'm gonna come over here uh, the heroes car the the speaker grills let me kind of get out here so you can see that, are more to the center. See how that they're more instead of, basically your other one would be over here and your other one would be over here. They're wider apart. Uh, but on the Hero car, they put them in the center. And I've got to do all that. Uh, got to draw the holes, get everything lined up, centered, and everything like that. Now, of course, and then there's always the, uh, the initials. So what this is here is just a piece of masonite. Now, for everybody that wants to know about the original car, the original car, Hero or any of them, none of them have the initials in it, okay? What they do when they film it and for some reason they want to have to show the initials, which I think have only been shown twice in the show's history, but what they do is they have this this piece of masonite here and it's just a cutout so they you know big square cutout with initials and then they stick it back there and they film it real quick now obviously when you guys are building your cars you're going to show them to everybody and all the fans want to see the initials so what you have to do is first install a new package tray i think these are like 25 to 30 bucks I get mine through classic industries I know other companies sell them and it's just the plain black cardboard um, package tray okay nothing fancy about it so I'm gonna come down in here into the car so that's what it's gonna look like installed and then this here there's vinyl and it gets glued down so I've already glued it uh, I have it installed uh, what I'm gonna do next is get my speakers all lined up and everything where it needs to be mark it and then I'm gonna come in here and cut that out now because this is a hero number one car the speakers are going to be in the towards the center that's metal underneath there so I went and got a uh, I got my jigsaw I got some metal blades I'll drill a hole in it and then I'll cut around my circle and it's gonna be time-consuming and it's a, it's a pain in the butt now and all the other ones I've ever done, I never had the back window out. I finally, after doing I don't know how many of these cars, I finally decided, hey, let's not put the back window in until my dumb ass gets these cut. So that's going to be my next step. But I wanted to show what, why you need this, uh, because the wood's going to go on top, and then there's going to be carpet on top of that. But this is your like your foundation, okay? And this gets, like I said, rolls over and then your seat will be back up against here and everything. So I just wanted to do this quick video so that way you can see the step in it. So the next time that I do my video on this car, it will have the speakers installed and um, the wood, the initials and the carpet, the, the, the whole nine yards. But I wanted to show this first step because a lot of people don't realize that this is underneath it. So I always use this. This is a factory piece. And nine times out of 10, you're not gonna be able to use your original because it's like I said, this is cardboard. There was moisture back here. These things warp and it just gets real ugly. So we rip all that out. I put a new one in, glue it down, and then install my speakers and so forth. So there is a video showing the original package tray installed and getting ready for the, the wood, uh, the masonite back here. Uh, I think I've sent some of these out to uh, some of my buddies. Uh, let's see, uh, God, I can't remember how many of I've sent out, but there's been a few. So people are like, hey, can you cut it out? 
you know. Now I don't do the speakers because when if you buy this, basically what I do is you get this board with the initials in it, and and that's just the way I send it out. But uh, I let you guys do your speakers because I want you to make sure that. Because this thing will move a little bit back this way or back this way, up, back. And so you want to make sure you get everything centered. And I wouldn't want to cut holes in it. And then, you know, and it really needs to be all done while it's in the car. And just to make sure everything is a, a proper fit. So that's how come I do not send these out with speaker holes cut. Uh, because in some may you're like, hey, I'm not doing a hero car. I'm only doing, you know, like one of the other cars. And I want my speakers more over here in the stock location. So just wanted to give pass that along to you guys. I try to give information out when I can and how I do things. The uh, car, this one here is, like I said, a Hero 1. It's Obviously, it's been painted. The guys, it's dusty right now, but the guys have been actually uh, wet sanding and polishing this. The I'm going to come and do a, a more of a video, but dash is painted uh, we got a, a really crude system set up here keeping this up so we can get this thing fired up because this should be coming soon to get it fired up and everything but I will do a, a more in-depth detailed video on this car here very soon because right now I am working on the package tray uh, to get the speakers and everything installed that way we can get the rear window in and I wanted to get also this done first so when I go back to do the weapons box I'm not trying to, you know, do my speakers underneath everything. So just trying to not put the cart before the horse, as they would say. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the little video on this. Uh, it, is, it is very time consuming, very, very time consuming. And it's kind of a pain in the ass. But, uh, you know, it has to be done. So that's what we're here for. So anyway, guys, I will talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye.